Let's go ahead and just turn this around here so you guys can see. All right. Oh my God. Oh, yuck. Good evening, everyone. You're in the right place at the right time. Blasting out of the East Coast like a ray of screaming across the land and into your town and into your home, slamming into your Mac like a supercharged DeLorean running on plutonium. Greetings from an undisclosed location. This is Logic Pro Hacks. Well, hey, this is Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. How's it going? Well, the other day I found this uh, computer that was thrown out in the trash. Just had to get it, you know, just because, you know, I'm a computer junkie and anything computers or tech I thrown away. I, I'm always curious to see what's inside it and see what's going on. And so this is it. This is an HP Pavilion 8750C. And what are the specs on it? It's an Intel Pentium 3 667 megahertz. Not sure really you're going to do much anything with it these days, but I'm kind of curious because can we make music with it? Can we still use something like this today to make music or do some kind of audio design? I think so. You know, so I'm going to try a little bit of something. This actually came with Windows 98 second edition. Tinker with it and see what we can do with it. And, you know, maybe we can upgrade it, you know, and maybe put some more RAM in it and find something like this in the trash and see what happens. Now, take this thing apart. Do, 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 do. Go ahead and just turn this around here so you guys can see. All right. Oh my God. Oh, yuck. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's turn it around. Look at that. Oh, that's horrible. Yikes. Oh, that's just disgusting. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> Damn, wow, freaking dust bunny central there. How can you fix that? Yeah, I just want to just put it back and just throw it away. But since I'm doing a video about it, I'm kind of obligated to clean it up. Dang, oh, that's just nasty. Should we take a vacuum to it? Well, here's the thing. You don't want to take a vacuum to this because what happens is the electromagnetic uh, or EMI will come in and it'll actually short out all your hardware. As if I take an, a dust thing, it'll just spray all this dust out everywhere. <laughs> this is just nasty. I was not expecting this. Wow. Um, okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go outside and just blow it out with the air compressor. Yuck. I'm going to go blow this thing out with the air compressor. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, I'm right, back. All right, so this thing all dusted out. Yeah, I mean, that's good enough. Before, the whole thing was just caked on with this white, putrid, gag me dust. Like, as soon as you start breathing, it just makes you want to freaking gag. That's how nasty that crap was. I got it all cleaned out with air compressor. Because Anyhow, let's go ahead and this just... See if this thing will boot up, and then we'll just kind of figure out if we just want to trash it. Oh man, it's just even on the back too. Golly, get a towel. I had a an old rag here that I put some alcohol on. It. Yeah, it's freaking gross. I, you know, it just amazes me how how people are. You know, they they just stick a computer down and you know. Just so clueless, you know. They stick a computer probably on the floor in the basement somewhere, and it just sat there on all the time, sucking in all the crap that's inside their house, you know. And and then suddenly, it probably they started having problems with it and starting getting real slow. Well, hello, you know, when you get all this this much dust in there, 
it's going to cause uh, all your fans to not work as well and not cool as well. And next thing you know, your processor is going to get all jacked up and it's just not going to perform. And they probably, you know, I guarantee that probably if this thing even boots up, it's going to have like a ton of viruses on it. Windows 98. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. All right, let's just go ahead and plug this in. All right, so this is what I'm using. I'm uh, actually using... I, I don't have... This takes PS2. It has one USB port. But I don't think that the mouse will work through that. I just... I, I'm kind of... But what I do have is I have this thing here. This, uh, it's a, an adapter that takes your USB to PS2. Yeah. Tell me about it. A, a computer that actually uses PS2. Dang. This is old school here. And then, and then I have this cool IBM keyboard that I found a while back ago when I actually was a contractor for Booz Allen. They were throwing out a bunch of stuff, and this one was being thrown out. And I was like, man, an actual PS2 IBM keyboard. Oh, that's freaking bitching. So I, I, I like to collect nostalgic stuff. And that's probably the reason why I saw this computer and I'm like, hey, this looks kind of cool. Let's just see what happens. And that fell out for some reason. That's not a good sign. All right, it's in there. And then we'll just go ahead and plug in our VGA. Plug this thing in. Always do my power cord less. And matter of fact, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna plug in my power cord first over here. And if anything goes wrong, power cord gets unplugged first as it boots up all right so let's go ahead and plug it in yep. turn it on I'm not gonna get any signal oh that thing stinks oh yuck I could smell it <laughs> So I'm not getting any video. Hold on here. No video. Hmm. That's not a good sign. Hmm. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> I'm just tempted just not even using it. It's not even going to the BIOS. It tells me that something's wrong. All right, well, let's take this thing apart. Yeah, what I like to do, I, I don't even like to use Phillips. I like to, what I do is I have this thing and I'll use this this type of socket to to do these type of screws, just because I, I feel like it. It's just easier to take off. That's just my thing. I'm, all, I'm, I'm just weird like that. Okay, let's go ahead and just pop these guys inside the, the screw tray. Oh. Man, let's go just pop this guy off. Yuck! Oh, Jesus, freaking I got to take that part off. God, that's just disgusting. Oh, yuck. Note to self, next time you find a computer in the trash, don't get it. <laughs> Alright, so, cut that part off. Gonna start pulling crap out. Bop temp, just take a sledgehammer to it. This thing's just pissing me off. There we go. That's what I gotta take off. Yeah, buddy. Oh, freaking nasty! Oh, crap. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's get the bezel off first. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that. Yuck! Freaking A, man. 
Look at all that. Gross. Freaking hate dust. Will this thing pull out now if I Oh there it is. Duh. Right in front of me. Square here. I don't know if you can see that one, but it's right under there. It's the one I missed. There we go. Now, I should be able to pull the little lip and pull that thing out. There we go. Let's go ahead and just take these guys off. Take this nasty thing off. Ah! Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, it's like caked on. Tough, I've got to wash your hands after touching this shit. Man, it's so bad, it makes me want to curse. Oh, look at that. It's still all kicked on in there. Yuck. Pour some more alcohol in there. It's 91%. Stuff actually burns your hands. But my hands are so scarred from messing with other stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move this guy out of the way. Over here. Look at that crap. So I think what's going on, the BIOS wouldn't even turn on, probably because it was left out in the rain when it was thrown out. So these, these guys, I just scraped the hell out of myself on this metal right here. Dang, be careful of that. Reminds me, I actually took a class, computer repair class, a long time ago. Got my A plus certification, CompTIA. Actually, 2000 was when I got it. And I was working on computers like this when I was studying for my test. Oh, I got to sneeze now. Oh, oh hold on. Oh. Bring all that crappy dust. Make my sinuses go haywire. The cool thing, when you take a rag and you pull it with like some really high level alcohol, like 91%, it's almost like a magnet for the dust. Chemical reaction that it just, all the dust just kind of just, just flux to it. Look at that. That's just nasty. Oh, it looks like a freaking dead worm or some shit like that. That's a nasty crap. Right, so what I actually plan on doing is just stripping everything out, getting the motherboard off. Actually, just taking this whole thing apart. Oh, what I'll do is I'll swap it out with another video card because I think that's what's the issue is here is this video card is just bad. Well, maybe not because it wasn't doing any BIOS. I also got to check the switch out the battery too on the motherboard. It should still post. It should still get a, a BIOS, even if the battery is dead. So that's not the issue. The issue is it's just covered with crap. That's what the issue is. <laughs> it's a phone card. You got a 10-100 NIC. But the VGA is integrated. Because I'm, I'm about done messing with this thing. I think I'm just going to throw it away. This is just grossing me out.
got memory in it. That was one thing I wanted to check, just make sure it had memory in it. It wasn't pulled for some reason. Of course, there's no hard drive in it, but I still should see some BIOS pop up or something. And I, I'm not seeing anything. This just kind of makes me wonder if this, this whole board is just toast. That's what happens when you let a computer get all dusty. It just cooks the whole board. The board overheats and just won't post. What do we do next? Well, I got another board that I know that works. And then what we could do is see what's on that hard drive. Yay, that's what we'll do. But it won't post or anything. I just, just think the whole motherboard's just bad. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and share it on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just click on the big red subscribe button below. And when I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Also, if you did like this video, maybe you will like some more of my other videos. You can watch those right now just by clicking on any of these links right here, which will open up a link and a new tab. Again, thanks for watching my video and supporting this channel. And remember, my friends, stay groovy.